Hey loves and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my nails with Your Nail Labs collab with Vanity Val, which is the October box. I'm super excited and I have done so many of Your Nail Labs unboxings. You know that each one is amazing and has so many things that you probably already use and some things that you probably haven't and so it gives you a chance to create sets with them get inspired and so my box came with tips and it also came with these two cover acrylics which they have a new cover collection mccart does and i'm super super excited to try it came with these cute purple sequins and like i said everything is like you know like for halloween because it's october obviously and like fall so these are perfect for that you can use them to encapsulate them into your nails they have like bats and witches hats and things like that these are spider and skeleton charms with cute colors in them and i'm going to be using them for my set today and then these gorgeous pink rhinestones which i will also be incorporating so these this disco gel liner i actually already had i um got them when i went to new york and then this gel polish is so beautiful as well um i didn't incorporate them in my um set today but i will be for another one so for the tips today i'm gonna be using the crafts by nine 3xl no c curve tips in a box which they are now available in a box on my website craftsby9.com and you can use discount code youtube or myra 10 and then the monomer and the acrylic brush is from kiara sky everything that i'm using in today's video will be linked down below in my description box um but let's get started with this video now a little disclaimer as you know i use the pop-off method and i think i mentioned this in every video just like for an fyi but i wanted it to be mentioned in this video in particular because i was using a new pop-off method that i was trying and as i was working on my pointer finger it popped off as i was literally laying my first bead of acrylic so i'm basically just going to be showing you three of my nails in today's video um, because I was in a rush this um, night when I recorded this and I wanted to finish and I just didn't want to have to go back and you know do the index finger and then do the pop-off method and it wasn't even working so I got a little frustrated too I'm not gonna lie um, but I moved on and I just skipped my pointer finger like in an absolute <laughs> like I just skipped it um, but anyways I thought of this design while i'm doing this nail like while i'm doing the hand and if you're new to my channel then you don't know but most of my sets are either inspired off of like pinterest or instagram i'll literally be laying down at night and be thinking of a set and then it'll come like that or i just grab a bunch of different products and then based off of those products an idea comes to my mind and so that's basically what happened in today's because i just grabbed the two acrylic powders and then I grabbed the pink rhinestones and the spider charms. And I was like, I'm just going to create a set. So in the middle finger, I did an ombre. And then in the ring finger, I believe I just did the whole nail in one go, like one color. And then in the pinky, I'm going to go back and do the ombre. Now, if I had the pointer finger included, I would have definitely done a little bit of a different set. Uh, but since I was just working with three fingers, I had to like coordinate them and make sure that it looked cohesive at the end. Um, I always have like, I'm that type of nail tech that has like one or two fingers that are different. Because I do content only, um, I like to make sure that they look different. It's I do it occasionally, but not as much where like all of the nails are one color. But I do like to do like work with a little bit of ombre or French tip or a little like marble, something different, you know, something with like a charm on it. I don't want like a plain set, obviously, because um, like all the time because I don't take clients and it's just for YouTube purposes. And so I want to do a little bit something different on at least one finger unless the whole set is, you know, in my mind already a complete set with just one color and no um like stickers or sequins or nothing on it i don't remember the last time i did a set like that honestly 
where it was just a one colored acrylic and that's a top coat and go but i don't know maybe i have <laughs> i just don't remember but yeah i always like to have one that's a little bit different and so that's why i incorporated ombre in this video um so i did want to talk a little bit about the mccart cover acrylics they are new and let me just say how beautiful they are i need to get my hands on the entire cover collection because i really loved working with them um this was the first time that i worked with these two colors in particular and i really love how they laid how they worked um and how they blended it was really really nice um when you get new like acrylics especially it does take a little bit of adjusting too because most acrylics are different formulas even if you use the same monomer some of them are slow setting some of them are fast setting and as you know i always use my kiara sky monomer but even then like all acrylics from different brands are going to be different because they all have you know different ingredients and stuff like that so it don't expect for you to like grab an acrylic whatever brand that may be start using it and be the exact same as the previous acrylic brand that you were using because they're probably most likely going to be different um i worked with over like 20 different acrylic brands or more and i know now after using them like for some time oh this one's you know i have to work with less monomer oh this one i have to work with more monomer things like that so it's just having to get used to the formula itself of the acrylic and that's basically it this one it like is really really buttery and super easy to work with and i absolutely loved it so definitely recommend and on the mccart website you can also use my discount code beauty by myra so now i'm going in with my crafts by nine no wipe gel top coat and it's super super shiny and amazing and then i'm going to be adding the rhinestones and the charms so do not forget you guys to shop on your nail labs website and grab the monthly box this is what can be included in your curated monthly box for october and go sign up right now you guys the link is down below in the description it is curated especially for you with like a small questionnaire based on the products that you use and it is amazing so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video Bye, guys.